Welcome to Scenic Backroads, Maine and Roan County. I'm David McCarthy. And I'm Stephanie Riley. On this episode, we'll show you how things are made here in Roan County. First, let's go along with David McCarthy to visit a Kingston man who builds amazing custom guitars, mandolins, and fiddles right here in Roan County. Bob Burns makes custom built instruments out of his shop right here in Roan County. Back in uh, the 60s, that's a long time ago, <laughs> I always wanted to build instruments. I wanted to play guitar, but I also wanted to build instruments. I went to Tennessee Tech, and I built my first guitar in the shop at Tennessee Tech. Um, it was not much to look at, but it was all I could afford, so I still have it upstairs, as a matter of fact. And uh, so I raised a family, and then after about 35, 40 years, <laughs> I had my shop built and uh, got an opportunity to work a little bit less and spend some time doing what I wanted to do. So I'm um, building guitars, mandolins, violins, fiddles, whatever you want to call it. Whatever comes up. <laughs> this is the almost finished product. It's down now to the point, this guitar for instance, has already been sculpted, I would say. This top, as you can see, is arched. It started out as a block of wood one inch thick. The back also started out that way. The sides had to be cut and bent to this shape and put into a mold. The neck had to be built and as, this is not yet glued together, you can see that the neck fits into a dovetail joint which is rather complicated but it's the best job to do. And then all of the frets had to be installed. The inlay work is all pearl and abalone. And those are embedded into the uh, ebony, which is the fretboard. And the ebony also up here. And this is my name here. I actually put the signature uh, on a piece of paper and wrote it several times. And then I went to uh, a person who makes supplies for luthiers <laughs> and had them to cut the pearl for me and then the of course this is uh, maple down the middle of the back and this is mahogany on this wood here as same mahogany actually as this is here so the whole guitar is made out of mahogany which is not necessarily the standard but sometimes I don't do them this standard most of the times people use spruce for the top but this is a uh, actually going to be an acoustic electric. I have uh, pickups that I'm going to install on the pick guard. So this will be an electric and acoustic guitar. Now the back I have put, uh, actually I did, I put this finish, this not even beginning to be the final finish, this is just the first coat. <laughs> and it's only on there to see how much I needed to fill more. So I still need to put more filler on this to get it perfectly smooth. Then I'll be putting about 12 coats of lacquer on the whole guitar by the time it gets finished to get the finish that we're looking for. So it's a long drawn out process. You have to wait between the coats of lacquer and sand between them and do all that to get a perfectly flat finish. But it's worth it. Whenever we begin to build a guitar, the first thing you have to do is either purchase wood thin enough for the back and sides or build it yourself. Now, these are pieces of wood that I have in stock here that are some I've used before. Um, if you look, this big board here is Sycamore. And if I look at one that's already cut, it's cut into a shape like this. These two pieces were cut from a board like these. They're book matched so that when you put them together, they look like this, and then they're glued together. That becomes the back of the guitar. So, what starts out as a board one inch thick comes down to something more like this 
and you cut size pieces also like this to make the sides out of. Of course, longer pieces and narrower, but those have to be bent to shape. So this is the beginning of a guitar right there, as are these other flat pieces. I have several for different kinds of wood in case I want to make a guitar one way or another. Once you do that, you put them together as this. <laughs> this would have been the back of a guitar. These are the two pieces joined together like I showed you there, except this is lace wood. And then once you do that, this mold is a mold for the sides of a guitar. This one can be either a cutaway or if I take this little section here out, I have to pull it rather hard. But anyway, it does come out and make a standard guitar without the cutaway. That particular mold is the one that I used to build the guitar we looked at to begin with. This is an example of the sides of a guitar being that have been bent, except this is not a good illustration because this wood was very difficult to bend and ended up breaking right here. But it does show what you do when you bend the sides. You take, I have a pipe here that I use this torch to heat the pipe. And then you take the wood and you work it back and forth over the pipe like this and you bend it once it gets hot enough. If you bend it too fast, you get it like this, broken. <laughs> so you have to do it very carefully. The sides then are put into the mold and then the top and the back get glued to the sides with uh, what we call kerfing. And I'll show you the kerfing. The kerfing is basically strips like this that get, just as an example, this would go into the mold. As such, and when you get ready to put this on, you put it around like this and glue it to the sides. And that gives you a surface for the top to glue to. So those are pretty much in a nutshell the basics of building the instrument. It's kind of a hobby, yes, uh, but I want to do it on a level that, you know, is compatible with all the other people that really do it on a full-time basis. I don't want to do a halfway job. So I work at it pretty hard. I take my time with each instrument. And if I were doing it to build it as a job, per se, I'd probably starve to death for one thing, but the other thing is I wouldn't really be comfortable trying to speed it up and not doing it right. So it's just fun the way I do it. If I don't feel like doing that that day, I do something else. <laughs>